Thank you so much to everyone that sent me a message, a comment, any sort of um, way of showing your love for me on my birthday. With all the things that have been going on, it was very interesting, but nonetheless, I am very grateful for the friends and family that I have that tried to make it as special as they could. With that being said, I am a year older, a year wiser, more wrinkles in my forehead. I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but I used to have a very large book collection. I'll save that story for another time, but I had my entire book collection stolen. So for my birthday, I did ask anyone that wanted to give me a gift if they could gift me a book. Um, I did have an Amazon wish list sent that out to everybody and it worked. It was perfect. So let's get started. My grandmother wasn't your typical um, sweet grandmother reader. She didn't read those steamy romances or anything like that. She loved hardcore thriller and horror books. And she was a very big um, Dean Koontz um, and Stephen King fan. Well, my grandfather, uh, gifted me part of her book collection of Stephen King novels. Here we have Desperation, Gerald's Game, which I know my grandmother loved this book. She talked about it all the time. Blaze, um, it says Richard Bachman, but that's his pen name. And um, Lizzie's Story. Kind of nice having something of my grandmother's. You know, I try and, I'm trying to keep up the tradition by, you know, um, following her footsteps in reading horrible, gory, scary novels. <laughs> Next book is also a Stephen King book and it is The Stand. So this is the uncut edition, almost 1200 pages. This is a big boy. Mother got me this. I was trying to read this on Libby and the hold is almost two years long. I think that's because of, you know, with everything that's going on, people are really wanting to read this book. Um, and she managed to find this book because I was gonna buy it on Amazon and it was sold out. Well, I really wanna start this soon. I live for these kinds of stories. Um, one of my favorite stories of all time is The Passage. That is kind of similar to this. And so I already know it's gonna be a favorite. So my, my sister and I are very much into meditation, crystals, um, self-care, um, you know, getting, becoming connected with yourself and you know, all, all that kind of crazy stuff that, that people don't really believe in. Um, she gifted me this journal called Zen as it is a journal of mindfulness so basically um you know it's 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 got something you know like creating a mini bucket list having a bad day there's a there's you know a page here where you can write um basically jot down your frustrations and whatnot um so yeah this is really cool but um so i was very very grateful when she got me this for my birthday winner of ice and iron this book I talked about in um, my Hogwarts, um, my Owls. Oh my, I don't know if these are not Oh my God. This book I had on my Owls Magical Readathon TBR. But um, instead of reading it on Libby, I feel like this is something that I want to be able to write in or take notes or post it notes or something. I just need something a little bit more because just the writing style, I, I, I'm enjoying the story. It's just a little more complicated for me to understand. So that's why I asked for um, the book and um, it's gorgeous. Next, Children of Time. I started the audiobook for this book a while ago and I was about two hours in something around there and I was loving it. However, I'm not someone that reads sci-fi a whole lot. Um, I tried listening to this at a slower speed and I just, it was good, but I just couldn't find myself really, you know, immersing myself. Holy cow, I did not realize how freaking thick it is. So I'm really, really excited to be able to get back in this story. Now, I am so excited that I got this book for my birthday. Like, I, 
<laughs> I asked for this book for my birthday so that I could lend this book to other people and force them to read it. But um, this is God Blind by Anna Stevens, and I can't recommend this book enough. Um, I, I read the first two books. I am still trying to get my hands on the third one. This book I highly recommend to anyone who enjoys the grim dark genre or is a Game of Thrones fan and wants something a little bit on that level. This delivers. Um, this was recommended to me on a Facebook group um, for Grimdark and I've never heard of it before and it was available on Libby and I binged the first two books like I could not stop reading. Um, there are some grotesque and some graphic scenes in this story that might not be for the faint-hearted but I swear to you like this book I just I'm gonna have to make like an individual video of how much I love this book. I love this book. Lastly, I got Nevernight by J. Kristoff. I know that everyone and their mom has already read this series and knows all about it. I don't think I need to recommend it to you. Honestly, I almost quit on this book. Actually, this is the first book, but my least favorite. I had a very hard time reading this book. I don't know why. I DNF'd this book about three or four times. I thought I was gonna like it so much that I requested on God's Grave on Libby and um, I didn't, I think I just didn't have anything else to read and I was like, oh, I guess like, let's just see what this book is all about. And then binge read that book and then binge read Dark Dawn. And I was like, oh my God, this is my, one of my favorite series of all time. I absolutely love it. So even though I didn't really care for this one, the other two I absolutely love. Um, I don't have the other two yet, but um, I do plan on getting the other books. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, I'm gonna set it. There we go. Setting it on my knee. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed my haul of new books. I am so happy to have these guys to extend my collection <laughs> of book hoarding. Um, thanks again to everyone who um, said happy birthday, sent me wishes. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'll see you next time. Bye!